Hey everybody, welcome to Bucketman Scouting. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a film breakdown on Grant Bricks, offensive tackle out of Logan, Magnolia, Iowa. He is 6'6", 280 pounds. He recently committed to Nebraska. He's a four-star offensive tackle. And a bunch of good programs were after this guy. Iowa, Kansas State, Alabama. Teams like that were very keen on getting Grant Bricks. Grant Bricks is a guy that is very, very good in the run blocking phase of his game. He has very good footwork. He gets to the second level with ease. He has very good change of direction, especially when he gets to the second level. I would like to see more pass protection sets with Grant Bricks. I would like to see more footwork technique that is elevated in the pass protection phase. But there's no doubt in my mind if Grant Bricks gets the development that Riola, the offensive line coach at Nebraska, and the dedication that Matt Rule has at getting offense and defense alignment in Lincoln, there's no doubt in my mind that this guy can be a very good player and take over for Bryce Benhart next year. Um, Grant Bricks, to me, needs a year of development, just like a lot of these high school players. But again, that's going to be the advantage that he has, you know, possibly being a swing tackle this year, redshirting this year, playing a couple games, maybe four. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with Grant Bricks. But I understand why Matt Rule wants a guy like this, because he's already very good in the run blocking phase. So let's get into this film breakdown. So this is what a three-point stance looks like. And Logan, uh, Iowa, likes to run the ball a lot. And they just ran behind Grant Bricks time and time again when I was watching this film breakdown. So we're going to see right here, Grant Bricks in that three-point stance. Just watch how he is able to get off at the line of scrimmage and get to that second level. Right there, sheds him off, boom, right there. I mean, his change of direction is so good. Um, and for a junior, I mean, you can't ask any better for a junior and Grant Bricks. I mean, this guy is, this guy is going to be a very good player for Nebraska if player development is taking place. If player development is taking place, and Matt Rule has preached time and time again that he wants player development. Okay, on this play right here, he's in a three-point stance. Again, Logan likes to run the football. Again, look how quickly he's able to get to that second level. I mean, it's just a very unique for a junior with a 6'6 frame to move like that. And I, there's no question that Alabama saw something in him. All right, here we go again. Just look how he's just able to manhandle in the running game. I mean, this guy has elite run blocking skills already as a junior. Still needs to work on the hand placement because there's going to be instances where he does get away with a lot of choke hold and holding um, three-point stance again. And at Logan, Iowa, and when you play high school football, you're not designated to one position. Uh, you play offensive and defensive line, and that's what Grant Bricks did for Logan, Iowa. Just look at that. Just he has his get off at the line of scrim is just so just elite. And they're designing run plays right behind him for a reason. There he is right there, just main handles. You see how he initiated initiated one block and then he's able to get to the second level here. I mean, just very good. And this guy's bigger than most of the players that he was playing against. So I mean, my God, he's just a big human being. And you know what? This is what Nebraska recruited back in the 90s with uh, Osborne and Devaney back in the day and Frank Solich when he was here. They they valued guys like this, brought him into the weight room, and developed them. And that's what Matt Rule wants to bring back at Nebraska and Trev Alberts, the athletic director. Again, just look at that hand placement work. I mean, my God, watch his hands. Watch how quickly he gets underneath those shoulder pads. That is the type of 
flashes you want to see more consistently out of Grant Bricks. So great play. Okay, there he is playing the defensive line. Again, he's not known for his defensive line play. So, I mean, this, this play really doesn't matter. I'm not looking to see him play defensive line at Nebraska. He's brought in to play offensive line. All right, next play, three-point stance again. Here we go. Again, that's something that he needs to work on right there. That's what he's going to get flagged at, um, especially in the college game. They're very keen on getting after players like that. Again, you have to get underneath those shoulder pads, flip your hips, drive the guy. So, again, player development needs to take place. His technique needs to get better. Okay, again, three-point stance. Again, Logan just runs the football, and they're running it right behind him. I mean, my God. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at, look how he flips his hips. Right there, flips him, boom. You see how he chops his feet there, too? Watch him chop his feet. Chops it. Very good. Boom. There you go. Good play, Grant Bricks. All right, three-point stance again. Just run behind him, gets to that second level. Boom, manhandles him. I mean, oh, wow. All right, here we go again, three-point stance. Just run behind him. That's all you got to do is just run behind Grant Bricks. See how he just mauls a guy there? Watch his hand placement work right here. Boom, just drives him. Just drives him right off the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Three-point stance again. Again, this is on Huddle.com, so if you guys are interested in this, just go to Huddle.com. Uh, this is what we use at the high school game. Look at that. Look at that. My God, dude. That is what I like to see from my offensive lineman. Continue. Continue watching. You see he's right here. Again, I'd like to see him get lower, drive him better. But again, this is, again, he's going to get, if the player development takes place, this is something he's going to get better at. Okay, here he is. Just run right behind him. Look at that. Man, he's just bigger and better than everybody else on that field. You can just tell he's just a difference maker, especially in the running game. There he is again. Just run that football, drive him. Three point stance again. I just want to see more pass protection sets. But again, Logan, Iowa doesn't really pass the football. And when you have a guy like Grant Bricks, who's so good in the running game, you can just run behind him all day long. Again, they're, they're designing runs specifically on his side of the field, too. Okay, here he is again. There you go. Very good. I really like how quickly he's able to grab, snatch, boom. He's just a very physical player. I like players like that that are physical. Gets to that second level. There we go. A little halfback toss. Running it right behind Grant Bricks there. <laughs> Watch number 66 right here. Watch him flip his hips, too. Boom, right there. Flips him. Drives him to the ground. Yes. Love that play by Grant Bricks. Okay, next play. Three-point stance. Boom. God damn. His, he is just so freaking physical off the line of scrimmage. Boom, right there. Very good play, Grant. They ran it right behind him, and that springboarded that touchdown. What a play by Grant Bricks, dude. Look at that hand placement. That's one of my favorite plays from him so far. Look at that. Not holding them, just, oh, man, dude. That is some good offensive line play right there. It just drives them, drives them, drives them, drives them. Great hand work. Good job, Grant Bricks. Three-point stance again. Look at look how quickly he gets off of that line of scrimmage. I mean, man, that is rare from 6'6", 280 guys. And he's going to get bigger, too. And he's only a fucking junior. Three-point stance again. They just run it right behind him, dude. He just mauls people. Love it. Look at him. He just mauls guys. God. And I get it. I get it. You're not going to be able to get away with that consistently at the next level. 
but man, he 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 can get better in so many phases, and that's the that is the potential that Grant Bricks has, and that's something that I'm very very encouraged about with Grant Bricks. He has some very good technique work already, but again, that can be refined at the next level, and that's something that I want to see with Riola and Rule uh, working that offensive line. So. This is my, again, this is a short film breakdown. Again, it's very hard to find these. Uh, you can go to huddle.com. Um, I encourage a lot of people to do that. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Grant Bricks, 6'6", 280 out of Logan, Iowa. He's a four-star offensive tackle. Um, again, like I said, he's not going to be able to get away with a bunch of the mauling that he was doing with lesser competition. But again, the technique, and you can just see the potential that he has where it can be molded into something very good. So we'll see what happens. Um, a lot of development needs to take place with Grant Bricks, but I do see the potential with him. Um, he's a very good player, and I think a lot of people uh, need to take notice with Grant Bricks because this is a guy that I'm very, very high on. So uh, this is Bucketman Scouting, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, film breakdown.